Hedda here with Hedda Skincare, and I'm going to show you my uh, skincare routine. I've just gotten finished cleaning my skin with our face uh, and skin polish. It's made with uh, ground up lemon peels, ground walnut shells, coffee butter, coffee oil, Castile soap, a bunch of really good things. But that's why my face is a little red. I do have rosacea. I do get it predominantly through here. That's also where I have some light to mild scarring. So the first thing that I do when I do my routine is I shake up my Restore Skin Serum. And then I get some and I put it all on my face, my neck, my decollete. I have a look here. And my skin is pretty raw. I do the uh, exfoliation with our skin polish once a week. I have some ladies and men that tell me they do it twice a week. That's fine. I do it once a week. If I do it twice a week, it's just a little too harsh for my skin. Okay, and now that it's soaked in, and I'm gonna show you how much of this you need. I'm gonna get my wrinkle cream. I use my finger, but I wanted to show you. It's just a very small amount. And I'm going to focus on these up here. And a little bit goes a long way. Now, this is not something that's going to open the capillaries in your skin and temporarily fluff and ease out the wrinkles. What it's going to do is support your skin so it can nourish itself and heal itself where you have these issues. So I'm gonna get these incoming marionette lines, my crow's feet, the Grand Canyon developing on my forehead, and any place I have spots, and I do have a few spots, that I want to put it. That's my wrinkle cream. And now for my all over face cream, I'm using my Island Mocha Butter. It's made with organic shea butter, organic jojoba, organic tamanu, and arabica bean oil. And to do my entire face, neck, and decollete, I will use about this much cream. Okay. I want to get as much of that. And these are mine. I mean, I just put my fingers in them. Clean hands. You want to use clean hands. So then you're going to apply it. Shea butter has a nice, light, natural SPF. Actually, just going to do what I do normally. And to do your eyelids, I just lightly tap up here, right around my brow because then it just slowly goes down my eyelid. I do put some of the creams on my own eyelid, but that's because I want it to have some nourishment too. And then of course, always lightly, lightly, lightly apply it here. Oop, it's melting nicely. I want to make sure I get it here, underneath on my chin. I'm actually going to get just a little more, and I'm going to rub it on my decollete and my neck. You know, this part of your skin, even though your chin is here and covers some of it, is exposed to a lot of sun. You know, and then whatever I have left, I have curly hair, I will scrunch it into my hair. Shea butter is very good for your hair. Uh, those of us with curly hair, it tends to be a lot drier. And then I let this sit in. And I wait for it to soak in before I do my cosmetics. 
And once it soaks in, it will provide my skin with a layer of protection every day. I love these products. Uh, they're oil-based. You don't need as much as you would with a commercial water-based skincare product. And I believe you'll see results. I have, this is me, this is my skin. I've not had any plastic surgery. I've had a few things removed, but nothing, you know, cosmetically, uh, certainly to improve the appearance of my skin other than my own products. And, you know, this is 48. I'm in the sun. I don't hide from it. I don't believe it's the skin villain. The media has made it out to be. We do need some sunshine. I think this fear of being in the sun and people covering themselves completely from it is why we have rampant vitamin D deficiency. I don't know. Uh, but I give my skin what it needs to hopefully repair itself in the areas where there's damage. Thank you for joining me in my bathroom. That's my skincare routine. We'll see you later. Have happy and healthy skin, everyone. Bye.